In the fast paced world where every minute counts, I understand that time is precious. That's why in this week's video, we're diving into the world of credit repair stall tactics. I'll shed light on what these are, how the credit bureaus use them to intentionally slow down the credit repair process, and most importantly, how to fight back and achieve the results that you deserve. But before we get started, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on my content. Now let's jump right on in. A style tactic or style response is a common practice that the credit bureaus use to slow down and prolong the credit repair process. Whether you believe these tactics are intentional or just a result of inefficiency, their ultimate aim is to deter you from pursuing credit repair, which could cost them money. These tactics are very effective at confusing and even intimidating individuals who may not fully comprehend them, but don't worry. Style tactics are par for the course. They can be frustrating, but almost everyone who embarks on the credit repair journey encounters them. I have myself. Remember, the Fair Credit Reporting Act mandates that the bureaus must respond in writing to your dispute letters. After you've sent your initial round of dispute letters, expect Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion to each send a response. Since they maintain different records, their responses can vary. The bureaus have 30 days to respond, but it can sometimes take up to 45 days, though most responses come in under 30 days. Even if one or more of the bureaus fail to respond, they are obligated by the federal law to conduct an investigation and reply. Politely remind them to comply with federal law if necessary. You're likely to receive a response from all three bureaus, which will either contain investigation results, hopefully indicating that the disputed information was modified or removed, or state that the item was verified, which you can challenge. On the other hand, you might receive a style letter. In the industry, it seems like the style letter has become the bureau's default first response to everything. Why is this important? Because when their style tactic succeeds, it often pushes individuals in financially challenging situations to give up. I cannot let that happen. Stay strong and remain informed. Keep applying pressure, remain persistent, and always stay on the right side of the law. Here's the key takeaways for today, right? As style tactics and responses become more common, it's crucial to learn how to recognize and combat them. While deciphering these responses might seem complex, they all essentially convey the same message. We refuse to comply for various reasons. Style letters come in various forms. They may mention a suspicious request, label your request as frivolous, claim insufficient identification, or say your request is not legible. Each of these style responses adds another 30 to 45 day wait period. It can be frustrating, but there's their, that's their goal, to frustrate you. However, don't give up in to frustration. Remember, this communication pattern typically occurs once a month and it's designed to get you to quit. But don't you let them win, okay? To sum it up, there are three primary types of style letters. Suspicious requests, frivolous requests, and insufficient identification. Avoid disputing too many items at once as this can lead to a frivolous request. Keep your disputes focused. Suspicious requests are quite common. They might imply wrongdoing on your part or working with a credit repair company is wrong, which isn't the case. These letters are often referred to as accusation of credit repair. You may receive one or even, even if you're repairing your credit on your own. So you could receive this letter even if you're doing it yourself. If you do receive a style letter, remember that it merely extends the credit repair timeline by 30 to 45 days. You may need to resend your previous letter with minor adjustments or additional forms of ID. Style tactics are designed to discourage, but if you keep applying pressure, you will succeed. If the bureaus continue to style excessively, consider filing a complaint or contacting the FCRA attorney. I understand that this process can be slow and frustrating, but remember, I am here to help you navigate through it, stay motivated, stay empowered, and you keep pushing forward towards your credit goals. Together, we can overcome these challenges and achieve the financial opportunities that you deserve. Until next time, y'all stay safe.